Hello, welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to load pellets or powder polymer samples for melt rheology analysis on the Aries G2 rheometer. The Aries G2 rheometer is commonly used to measure the viscoelastic properties of polymer melts. If a polymer is in a disc form, it is easy to load it to the parallel plate. However, many times this is not the case. Polymers can be in irregular shapes, such as powder or pallets. In order to load this kind of polymers to a parallel plate geometry, we will need to have the following accessories. The polymer molding ring, molding ring support, and shim stock. Attach the upper and lower 25 mm plate geometry to the Aries G2 rheometer. Close the FCO oven. Preheat the geometry to the measurement temperature. Then zero the geometry gap. Cut a piece of steel shim. Bend it and insert it into the sample molding ring. Open the FCO. Attach the molding ring support to the bottom geometry. Then place the molding ring together with the inserted steel shim on top of the support. Close the oven immediately. Equilibrate the system to the measurement temperature. After equilibration, open the FCO. Load the pallet sample into the molding ring. Lower the upper geometry until it is in contact with the sample. Close the oven immediately. Let the polymer pallet melt and equilibrate. Open the FCO. Wear thermal gloves, then remove the molding ring support. Let the ring drop to the bottom of the lower geometry. Use the tweezers to peel off the steel shim. Slightly lower the upper geometry until it squeezes the pallet further down. Close the oven immediately. Use the instrument touch screen or the trio software to set the geometry gap to be 5% above your measurement gap. For example, if your measurement gap is 1 mm, then you set the gap to be at 1.05 mm. Open the FCO. Use the trimming tool to trim the excess amount of sample from the edge of the 25 mm plate. Close the oven immediately. Set the gap to the final measurement gap. Now you are ready to perform the melt rheology measurements. Typical melt rheology test procedures include an amplitude sweep to determine the linear viscoelastic region, a time sweep to evaluate thermal process stability, and a frequency sweep to measure viscoelastic properties and calculate molecular weight and molecular weight distribution. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to load pallet or powder polymer samples to a parallel plate geometry for melt rheology analysis. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.